Greetings, Skeechling and Skeech Prime here with my live reaction of Chain Soldier Chapter 100. Alrighty. Let's see where things go from here. We had two members, of, I believe it was just two members, of the uh, Thunder Dragons that were on the move. We have the third division. They were kind of just wrecked. So, hmm. And it was Ren that had to come to their safe, to their rescue. So, yeah. Let's see where things go from here. No title, or at least it wasn't translated, I'm not sure. <coughs> the Omiu uh, Agency. So they've got one of the devotees. Ah, here it is. The Elite Soldiers of Mato. She couldn't make it either then, unfortunately. Hmm. I think that's one of the devotees. <clears throat> Excuse me. A contrivance that makes their bodies explode from within. That's what the assailants had applied to them. But she seems to have received treatment in no time. In time, no? Her body was healed, but her consciousness has yet returned. She died from her body breaking down. I hypnotize. Or I hypothesize. I hypnotize. <laughs> I hypothesize that mark on our forehead acts similarly to a curse. Mar removing that mark isn't possible, is it? Have you tried methods other than healing abilities? Even a life force injection by Tobera uh, Azuma proved ineffective. That's saying something. The mark reappears soon after its removal, even if you remove the, enti er, the entire affected area. It would simply appear somewhere on their body. That's a pretty concerning curse. It's it's what you'd expect coming from the gods. Out of the fourteen captured attackers, the only survivor is you mute is a Miji. <clears throat> Why can't I ever get her name right? Shimomura. Yeah, and that was a tough one. How's her condition? So they've entered that room. Uh, she's still unconscious, but she made it through the worst. The commander is here. Out with what you know, Yumiji. Uh, Kyoka? I don't think she's going to say anything. Sure your worth. A path to save you is bound to open if you do. No, they'll probably kill her. She does seem to be alive. And she's... She doing some... What the fuck? She seems to be trying to convey something. Kyoka. Their numbers. Three, one, five, four, zero. Oh. Coordinates. Stay with uh, Shimura Kyoga <clears throat> or Kyoka. Blah. Some of these names, I they don't flow very well for me. Give me an update whenever you get more information. Keep uh, Shimura alive, no matter the measures you take. Understood. So now she's heading to... where is this place? No casualties, even after suffering simultaneous attacks. The Motto Defense Corps never failed to impress. A prisoner has given us information about our enemy. We'll defeat the Eight Gods of Thunder. Do you have any objections? I don't think they do. Coming to an agreement with the gods would give us access to even more resources. Prime Minister, no matter how often you tried to call out to them, they never responded. And what's more, they even said they'd bring humans to their demise. Then we've no choice but to defeat them. Ha ha ha, defeat them you think. <laughs> defeat them you probably won't. Not easily anyway. Please, Commander uh, Yamashiro. They all bow to her. And so I guess that was just the Prime Minister's office. <clears throat> and that's how it went. And now they're at the bathhouse. Hmm. The government has put a lot of expectations on us. Then let me step down from being a chief. What? Damn. If we fight the eight gods of thunder, I'll be the first one to go down. 
Are you too weak-willed, Bell? It kind of is. There's no way, or there's no one who could even hope to kill you. No one but me, that is. Wait, what the fuck? And I wouldn't kill my good friend, Bell. You certainly <laughs> act like you would if she stepped down. Come on, have some confidence and give me a smile, Bell. It's... What are you waiting for? Smile. I think she's about to use a power. She's smiling. I don't like this. This is kind of creepy. I think she did something. And now in what looks like Mato again. The coordinates that uh, Shimomura gave us point to 155 meters below us. Our girl will be breaking in there. Okay, so we have numerous chiefs and a few vice chiefs and mostly members of, uh, well, actually, wait, weird, Kyoka is not there, but Yuki is? <laughs> I mean, I guess technically, uh, Homura, Homori? Hamari? <laughs> what is her name again? Damn. Um, she can copy Kyoka's ability, so I guess that's why he's there. What will be our course of action? I'll raid their base. Once I've reported back, it'll be your turn to rush in. If ten minutes pass and I've yet to contact you, rush in. No questions asked. You'll go in by yourself, but that's far too soon. What? It's precisely because I'll be by myself. Yeah, she's fucking all-powerful. That I won't have to hold back. She whisked her little ten powers ring thing around. R right. <laughs> uh, but I will bring a piece of equipment with me. Yuki Wakura. Y yes, um? Use your slave form with me to dig a hole all the way to the bottom. Really? You want him to dig like a dog. Lovely. In that form? I'm against that. He'll get caught up in your attacks, Commander. Uh, we could use my clones for reconnaissance first. It'll be fine. I love how they're all just coming to his defense. They all love him too damn much. Um, it will be fine. That form has near instant healing. Let me do it. Hmm? <laughs> mm. Excuse me. If the eight gods of thunder are not dealt with, we will never have peace. And he's thinking of his sister and her fallen comrades. If there, if there is anything I can do, then I'll give it my all. Yuki-kun. So there he is, digging like the dog that he is. Alrighty. Hmm. Still not a fan that she's basically treating him as a pet. But then again, that kind of has been her uh, plot device with him for a while. So, not shocking. Alrighty, so they're doing an all-out assault with several captains, vice captains, and whatnot. So, yeah. Okay, feasible plan. They're not leaving. It's not like bringing in all the chiefs to you know, go down into what they assume is, I guess, the main headquarters of the gods. But, hmm. And of the captured people that they, the devotees that they've captured, none of them have divulged any information, and the curses implemented upon them don't seem to be letting up any way for them to be used as leverage, intel, or otherwise. So, yeah. <clears throat> So that's really covering their bases here, I have to say. Um, Yumiji is being the only source of intel they have, and as far as we know, she could just be sending them to their doom. Who knows? A trap, or what seems like a trap. It may not be a trap, because, you know, her intel is kind of a little outdated at this point. Who knows? Um, but yeah interesting setup chapter and the fact that now we get to see what was that form called like Cerberus again 
is interesting. Um, he seems to be pretty obedient this time and not as ravenous and berserker-like, so I guess that's a good thing. But I don't like that she's literally putting him into harm's way. It's like, he has near instant healing. He'll be fine. Freaking Wolverine has died before. <laughs> so <laughs> he has pretty good healing too. You know? I mean, I think, you've, I think even Deadpool had died at some point. So it's like, people with super healing doesn't mean that they're invulnerable to death. Um... <clears throat> And as far as we know, nobody has a resurrection ability. So that makes it even more so dangerous that, well, I say resurrection in the term of a, like a permanent resurrection, not like the former chief, uh, Ryu. Ryu? Ryui, whatever, her, however you pronounce her name. The old lady. Um... She can revive, like, one person, but it seems to be just the extension of a fight, more or less. It's like a, a weapon she's summoning, more or less. So, I wouldn't really consider that, like, a permanent, you know, resurrection kind of deal. And we've seen healing abilities, but, you know, they can't heal death. So, so yeah. Not sure... Unless Ren herself has such an ability, which I mean, she's as OP as you get in this series so far. So I could very well see her having one, but like, she doesn't use it for obvious reasons. I mean, it would be extremely OP used, especially this early on in the series. And then, you know, you don't want to utilize that for all the wrong reasons, you know, like bringing back every single person. Then it means it lessens the impact of a death in a series. And she might just figure, hey, you if you died, you weren't that useful to me. Um, or in the case of Yuki, like with him dying, she would probably want to bring him back because he is a useful dog in this regard for her. So, but yeah, not sure what to say otherwise. But anyway, uh. So they're burrowing down to, I guess, the Thunder God's HQ, and we'll see where things go from there. It could be a trap, could be anything, to be honest. But uh, let me know your own thoughts and opinions on this. Anything I missed, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Check out my other content, see what you like, suggest things for the future. I have a couple other videos coming out. Unordinary should already be up, and My Hero Academia should be coming up after this. So stay tuned if you're interested. As always, links down below for social media so you can keep up with my content and have ways to contact me. I stream on Twitter under gaming and I'll tweet out when I go live. Part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And as always, later days. And until next time, Keeshlings. Digging like a dog. Dig a dig a dig a dig a dig dog.